Hey friends, welcome to this week's video, or whenever this video comes out, look at this. Guys, we have a big pile of stuff here called lumber and supplies. Ow, Ethan just smashed his finger. And Priscilla's been bugging me, oh, please make a greenhouse. I'll just buy a greenhouse, she says. I said, no, I'm a DIY guy. I don't buy greenhouses. I make greenhouses. So anyways, we're going to put it back here. She's not here today. So we bought, went to town, bought all this stuff to surprise her. And we're going to be uh, working on it, I guess, uh, at least starting uh, on it. It's already early afternoon, but it's a Saturday, and it took us all day to get going and get stuff. And we had made all kinds of trips. We went, went to the dump and just, you know, Saturday stuff. So we're finally here. <clears throat> I'm a little bit under the weather, so I might lay down for a minute. But uh, anyways, we'll come back out and get started out here. Looks like we're making progress. And there comes Priscilla. We'll see what she says when she pulls in to this working crowd right here. to be eventually. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you really doing that for me? Just for you, love. <laughs> just for you. Wow. I am just so amazed oh, and thrilled. Oh yeah. I just can't get over it. I can just see all my <coughs> plants in there. Garden vegetables. This is just so amazing. Wow, I am so blessed. They got the floor all done now. Well, that's what we got done. So we got it, got it kind of got the walls up. We got the roof, um, little gables made here and kind of got started, but now it's supper time. So I think we got a fair bit done in like about three hours, I think. So trying to just go off of a picture that we have. That's kind of why we decided on building one of these and Mr. Squirrel up there thinks he's owns the place hey guys we are back and it is Monday evening and how beautiful it is it was just a glorious day today there's blue skies and it does the sun keeps shining here and right now in the end of May uh, until probably, I don't know, 11 o'clock or so. I mean, it's we go to bed, the sun's still shining, which is kind of weird, but it just goes low over the horizon. It just, you know, takes a long time to set, and then during the night, you can see it just glowing, and then early in the morning, it comes up again. It's it's uh, shining when we go to bed and shining when we get up, and that's not because we go to bed early and sleep late. <laughs> Anyways, so we bought all the materials on Saturday, as you saw, and all the boards As a matter of fact we're still short some boards we still have to get a few more but i didn't know where to find the solar the panels the plastic panels but today i called around and just amazingly i found somebody that had some in their shed um and so we went after work here and bought the panels so tonight it's beautiful and we're gonna just uh, go out over here to the greenhouse now and we're gonna be working on the greenhouse and getting some more done work for an hour or so even though we're tired from working all day so here it goes got to carry this stuff over there now
making some progress. That's what we got done tonight, and we'll finish it or keep working on it another evening. And now, folks, we have the distinct privilege of once again getting started working on this greenhouse. After working a full day, we're tuckered out. But we're doing it because we love our honey. I love my honey. And the boys are doing it because they're good boys. Okay, we're going to work on the greenhouse. We brought some, got some more boards. And let's see if we can uh, finish all the boards tonight at least. And then maybe tomorrow night we can work on the plastic. So we just got done with dinner and let's get to work. There we go. Okay, I'll do this the next. Right here, Justin. Good. Screw it to these studs. Yes. I don't know. Just eyeball it. Yeah, you could do the ends and then uh, pull up and center up an eight. Little chimpanzee. Put the finishing touches on the wood. go about done and that's it for tonight we will finish it probably in one more evening and tonight we're back again it's a cloudy day but the sun came out which is so awesome so justin and avalon are putting this wire down for a shelf chloe is busy doing monkey shines and ethan and i are going to be working on this door right here and we gotta figure out there comes wyatt Ethan's cutting the plastic here. And I am so excited to see this come together. Okay, Justin, demonstrate the door for us. We got the door hung, we got that wire on. That's all we got done. And we got started on cutting uh, this plastic, but then we realized that we really need a blower. So go ahead and demonstrate. There we go. Nice. A very nice greenhouse, but a little on the airy side. No plastic yet. All right. Tomorrow's another day. We'll come back tomorrow and keep working. All right. This is a Saturday, and we are all outside working on my dream greenhouse. All righty. This is so awesome. Nope. They're cutting these sheets to size. Let me grab that end.
So, six to three and a half. Okay, Gus. Okay, Kasha's mark on the top, Ethan. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's been eight total because the marker that. that got See, it's never. Got it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now these measurements are not A little over to Hayes. You can help with us. You can also need to screw in the bezel to see the table. Okay. Keep me healthy. Sorry, well, okay. Now change the overhang dot, do cella okay. edge. Yeah, overhang mesa. Then it's a two by four. Hey, hey, this side is looking good. Looking good. And we're getting the roof on on this side. It's all coming together. While all of us are working on the greenhouse, these two went inside and made themselves some lunch. <laughs> Eggs, toast. <laughs> Almost done here, guys. Only the okay, bridge cap to put on. The last piece is going on. Hallelujah. I am so excited to put some plants in there and get it started. Well guys, this greenhouse is nearly done. We started on, on a Saturday and we finished on a Saturday and we worked on it most evenings except one, I think. Uh, what we still need to have left to do is we're going to put a vent on this side and we're going to put a, van, a fan on that side. And I tried to find a 12 volt DC fan that runs off a battery or solar. I just couldn't find one that I like. So I'm going to, I bought an electric fan that is supposed to not take a lot of energy and I bought an inverter. So hopefully I can use a battery and it'll still work. So we're going to see once that all comes. And we'll hook it up and you guys will know it with me if it's going to work. But let me just show you inside and I'll show you around a little bit. Ooh, it's nice and warm in here. I like it. So Priscilla's already got her plants moved in, as you can tell. And it's just a real simple greenhouse, 8 foot by 12 foot. But uh, I think it's going to serve uh, our family well. I wish, you know, I always wish it was bigger, but... I think this greenhouse probably cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,000, just to kind of give you an idea. And I'm sure you could buy these panels in the lower 48, probably less expensive than we can up here because everything has to be shipped up. Um, but she's going to have pots along here and she'll have pots underneath here. I'm sure we'll have things growing here as well as things uh, hanging. She's got these hooks in here and she'll have tomatoes and things, I think, hanging on here. So. Anyways, this thing is going to be very green and very full this summer. And it's just good to get our hands a little dirty and a little green because we had such a beautiful garden in Montana. And that's probably the main thing that we miss about, about Montana because we had a beautiful orchard and our garden was just beautiful. And we spent a lot of time out there. So this is just a small recreation, recreating uh, that feel, I guess. And again, we just built this, you know, as our family. So it's not like... Um, it's the most perfectly well-built thing in that you could ever, you know, buy or make or find, but, um, I think it's going to work well. We did learn, you know, some things. One thing, 
you can see there's a little bit of moisture trapped in some of this. Um, the thing of it is, is uh, these were outside and it rained and we didn't realize that. Uh, but some of the ends, it got a little bit of rain, you know, down inside. So uh, that might be perpetually trapped in there. I'm not sure. This moisture right here is just from the wood, inside the wood, because that wood was a little bit damp. So that's what that is. And uh, <clears throat> we just put it on some uh, concrete blocks right here to set it up off the ground a little bit. And there you have it. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. And I think it's gonna do the job. Now I'm gonna finish filming once we still put that fan in there or the vent on this side and the fan on the other side. We'll show you when that's done and then we're gonna be done. stuck on here or something fierce that makes you wonder if you're supposed to take it off So we have a battery backup to power this. Here we go. And then we plug this in here. So 62 degrees in here right now. Okay. There we go. Yeah. 